Hello all, welcome to eDrawMax. In this video, we will learn more about basic symbol operations. First, let's learn about selecting symbols. Drag a symbol from the library and drop it on the drawing page. To select a single symbol, move the cursor over the symbol and click to select the symbol. To select multiple symbols, there are four different ways. The first way is to select one symbol and keep pressing Shift or Control and click other symbols. The second way is to put the cursor on the blank area of the canvas and drag it to draw a selection box that selects all the symbols. The third way is to right-click in the blank area of the canvas and choose Select All Symbols in the context menu. And the fourth way is to press Control A to select all the symbols on the canvas. Now let's look at the Lasso Select tool. To select symbols using the Lasso Select tool, navigate to Home, Select, and choose Lasso Select tool. Use the mouse pointer as a brush to circle the symbol you want to select. Now let's look at Symbol Data and Manage Data. Go to the View tab. Select Symbol Data. Click Manage Data. The Define Symbol Data window will open. Here you can build or change a data set for the selected symbol. Now we'll learn to move the symbol. Before we do that, turn on Dynamic Grid. Go to the File tab, click Options, Snap and Glue, and check Dynamic Grid. Drag the symbol from the library. In the Selection mode, move the symbol wherever you want. To move multiple symbols, drag one or more symbols and Dynamic Grid will be activated to show the references. To move a symbol precisely, go to Arrangement, Size. Type numbers in X and Y boxes to change the placement of the symbol on the canvas. Now let's learn about resizing a symbol. To resize a symbol, you can select the symbol from the library and drag one of its control points to change the size. When you resize selected symbols and hold the control key, the selected symbols will be resized while the center points won't move. When you resize selected symbols and hold the shift key, the selected symbols will be resized more smoothly. Now let's look at how to rotate a symbol. Drag the symbol from the library and click to select. Move the cursor over the rotation handle until the cursor becomes an arrow circle. Drag the handle to rotate the symbol. To rotate in a precise angle, click on Arrangement, select Rotate, and type the rotation degree you want in the rotation row. Now let's look at replacing a symbol. For some kinds of symbols in eDraw Max, like basic flowchart symbols, you could replace it with another symbol that comes from the same category. Here, to replace a circle with a square, click on the circle, navigate to Tool, and select the Replace Symbol option, and choose the square symbol from the drop-down menu. Now let's see how to protect a symbol. This feature allows you to lock the selected symbol to protect it from being changed in certain ways. To lock certain symbol attributes, select a symbol and go to Style under Choose Protect option. You will see a lot of options to protect a symbol. The last option on the drop-down menu is Unlock All. Click Width to lock the width of the symbols.
Click Height to lock the height of symbols. Click Rotation to lock a symbol against rotation. Click Edit Text to lock a symbol's text from being edited. Click from Connector to lock symbols against being connected. Now let's learn about rearranging overlapping symbols. To bring the selected symbol forward one level, under Arrangement, choose Position, and select Bring Forward to bring a symbol one level forward. To send the selected symbol back one level, choose the Send Backward option. To bring the selected symbol in front of all other symbols, choose the Bring to Front option. To send the selected symbol behind all other symbols, choose the Send to Back option. Now we will look at Group and Ungroup Symbols. Drag multiple symbols from the library. Select all symbols. Under Arrangements, choose Groups. Click Group to group all the symbols. To ungroup symbols, select the grouped symbols. Click Ungroup from Groups. Now let's see how to align symbols. Drag two or three symbols from the library. Select all symbols. The primary symbol has a thick magenta outline. Go to Arrangements, Align, and pick up the desired option of alignment. Now we will look at how to distribute symbols. Drag three or more symbols from the library. Select all symbols. Navigate to Arrangements, Align, and choose a distribution option. Now let's see how to match symbol size. Drag two or more symbols. Select the symbols. The reference symbol has a thick magenta border. Navigate to Arrangements, Size, Same Size tab. Click the same height icon to keep symbols in the same height with the reference symbol. Click same angle icon to keep symbols in the same angle with the reference symbol. And last, let's see how to center a symbol. Drag a symbol from the library. Right-click and choose Center. The symbol will be moved to the center of the page. If there are several symbols, these symbols will act as a group, and the center point of the group will move to the center of the page. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more drawing and diagramming information.